Here's a look at the four things you need to know for today. Number one, Australia's prime minister is speaking out for the first time since a Minneapolis police officer shot and killed Justine Damon. Malcolm Turnbull called it a shocking killing and is demanding answers. Damon is originally from Australia. She called 911 over the weekend to report an assault outside her South Minneapolis home. Officer Mohammed Noor fired his gun as Damon approached the driver's side of their squad car. Number two, President Donald Trump's voter fraud commission is set to meet for the first time today. The Trump administration created it to investigate the president's allegations that millions of people illegally voted for Hillary Clinton. The commission got off to a rocky start after many states denied requests for voter data. That includes Minnesota. Number three, a new CDC report finds more than 100 million Americans have diabetes or pre-diabetes. The statistics also show nearly one in four adults with diabetes don't know they have the condition. Doctors say a simple blood draw can help slow the trend along with proper diet and exercise. And number uh, four, for the first time in more than 20 years, Atari is launching a video game console. Jason, did you have one of these? Uh, no, I was oh. jealous of people with Atari. Those were the cool kids. Look at the new ones. They're pretty wow. sleek. This is called the Atari Box. Looks a little bit like the old iconic yeah, device bit. that played Pong and Asteroids. The new console will come in two versions, black and red, and wood. No word yet on timing, pricings, or specs, but boy, those pictures are pretty. Those throwback <laughs> consoles have been crazy popular, mm -hmm. so it makes sense.